of the import processes. As y'all know, uh, Mexico imports a lot of uh, stalker cattle um, into Texas each year. And um, because of the border violence, the normal inspections were done on the Mexican side, they're now being done on the Texas side. And so our employees are going to be able to help USDA inspect the cattle and horses that come through those land ports, the six land ports in Texas. Um, to uh, facilitate trade. Some of y'all, some of your membership actually, you know, obviously trades in sour cattle. So we're going to help with imports and exports as well. Um, <clears throat> just go through a couple of cattle programs and giving an update on that trichomoniasis, uh, the neural disease of bulls. And um, there's a voluntary program. When I say voluntary, the Texas cattle industry, including y'all and Farm Bureau and TSCRA and veterinarians, et cetera, as a group decided this would be good to have a trick program. As y'all know, basically the concept is you have to, your bull has to be tested or can only go to slaughter or feedlot to prevent the transfer of this. But our, our trick working group meets once a year, and they met in April, and that's an opportunity for industry, including ICA, to give input to the, chair, to the commissioners of the Animal Health Commission about possible rule changes or tweaks to the program. And Commissioner Coleman Locke uh, leads that. He's the beef commissioner for the Animal Health Commission. He read, raises um, brain of cattle over around Port, part of the Hudgens gang over there. So, um, so we met in April. There were a couple of very substantive things that were, were recommended out of that group. And that group's not a rulemaking body, but they make recommendations to the commission. The commission met last week and uh, proposed a couple of new rules as a reaction to the recommendations from the TRIP working group. And I'll run through those real quick. And the most important one is they have recommended and proposed that fence line neighbors to an infected herd have to test the bulls. And before this, the rule was, well, if your neighbor had trick, we would just send you a letter and say, your neighbor's got trick, you may want to talk to your vet. Well, this rule proposal, and we strongly encourage you as individuals and ICA's organization to comment on it, would just say, all right, fence line neighbors, you're not quarantined or anything, but we're going to send you a letter that says, hey, your neighbor's got trick. you got to test any bulls that were across that fence in the last 30 days from the reactor bull when it left or was detected. So that's, um, that's rule number one. The second rule related to trick is that there's an effort for those folks who move cattle interstate to harmonize or make the interstate entry rules for different states consistent. And so there were three things that the state vets got together in the western states. Texas, and we're in two regions. We're part of the west and we're part of the south. So we're kind of double important. All the rest of the states are jealous of us, but we get to go to two regions. So the western state vets met, and they, they're the ones, the old trip programs have been out west the longest. And the reason why is because they have a lot of community pastures. And so you have a lot of public land where there's three or four different guys that have animals on there, and so you may have different bulls, and so the neural disease in a public pasture is important. So some of the states like uh, Idaho and Montana, some of those, they've had trick programs for 30 to 35 years. Texas program is almost six years old. So there were three things they wanted all the states to do, and we're really talking to the southern states. They're the ones that don't know. They, Florida still doesn't have a trick program. Georgia is thinking about it, and so they're kind of learning from the West, if that makes sense. So one is that a trick test should be good for 60 days. We were already doing that. We were allowed 60 days for a test to be good. The second was, it's related to a lab, but there's a specific lab test called PCR. It's a computerized test, and, we, and it's a new test, and we were telling all the other states, you should accept this as a good test. The only way to do it was a culture, and you bet we have to culture your bull three times every week for three weeks. It was kind of a, a tedious process, so this computer one-time test is much better. The third part, and we were already accepting that, the third part was that um, the virgin age for bulls should be 18 months of age. In Texas, after we started off, we started off at 24 months, and some folks bought virgin bulls that weren't really virgins and gave disease. So about two or three years ago, the working group recommended that um, we jump it down to 12 months. Just We weren't going to mess with it in Texas anymore. So this would require a rule change for Texas. And so there's two parts of the virgin rule that came out of the working group. One is that we'll now accept virgins up to 18 months of age coming in from another state. And that will make us consistent. There's 28 states that have a trick program, and 19 of them will have 18 months as the virgin age. So that's going to be a little more simple. And some others are thinking about it. 
The second half of that, this 18 months coming in, the second half is right now our virgin age within the state of Texas is 24 months. And the, the group said, let's just make it consistent, 18 months for everything. And so that rule is also proposed for an in-state rule, it's 18 months, with the exception that um, if your vet will co-sign that it's really virgins, you can still go up to 30 months of age if you're within the state of Texas. And that but especially helps those folks that are in the Brahma business or in Santa Gertrudis or any Brahma cross where they're, you know, those animals mature at a much age, at older age than, say, an Angus or Jersey or whatever. So for the Brahma uh, uh, influence in Texas, you basically you can go up to 30 months as a virgin as long as your vet will co-sign the document and just saying, yes, he's, he's not lying to you. Now, we all know that buying a virgin bull is like buying a car that's never been wrecked.